Holiday season is here, and for a lot of people, that means it's time to give. Whether it's a gift from the heart for charity, or a last ditch effort to snag a tax exemption, there are some things you need to think about, and certified financial planner Joe Burt is here to break it down for you. I hope you had a great holiday. I did, Tom. Uh, so let's talk about limits, because you say that's the first place you need to start, right? Well, first of all, in order to take a tax uh, charitable contribution, right. and you have to itemize your deductions. If you're not itemizing, you're probably not gonna get it. But the limit is 50% of your what's called your adjusted gross income, okay. which is the amount of income that shows up on the front page of your 1040 on the bottom line. Now, if you can't take all the deduction, you can carry it over five years. For the most for the most part, most people will get the deduction. All right, so let, uh, how do you know about deductions and what qualifies? Well, you have to give to what's called a 501c3, which is a okay. qualified charity. Now, giving to your kids isn't a charitable deduction. Some people think, you know, <laughs> you know, grandma's in the My nursing home. try to convince me. Well, you know, you. grandma's in the nursing home, and we're going to write her extra check this year. That's kind of a charitable contribution, or the kids need the money. It's a charitable, or even giving it to political parties is not a charitable contribution. It has to be what's called a 501c3. You can go online, go to the irs.gov. They have a list of uh, who is qualified and who isn't. And there's a lot of scam charities out there this time of year, too. Can you use a credit card? And you, is it smart? You can use a credit card. And if you use a credit card, you get this freaking flyer miles. So you get a double bonus here. Okay. And the interesting thing about the credit card, you may you know, take the deduction in December, make the contribution in December, but you're going to pay the credit card off in January. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you still get the deduction this year because you used your credit card this year. Okay, yep. so it gives you a little time delay on that yep, one. You got it. All right, so what else should we keep in mind? Because I know there's probably a lot. Well, if you're if you're over the age of 70 and a half, there is, there has been a provision in years past, and every year okay. they usually wait till December to, to have this happen. But if you're over the age of 70 and a half and you make a charitable contribution directly out of your IRA, okay, okay you will get the deduction even though you don't itemize. And you can give up okay. to $100,000 out of your IRA oh. if you're over 70 and a half. But the deduction has to come directly from your IRA to the charity. So it's basically a deduction. transfer from yeah, your... It's a tra exactly, exactly. Okay. It's, a, it's a good way to do it for people that are in high incomes because it's not considered your taxable income. It might keep your Medicare premiums down. It's a good way to go. All but right. it hasn't been approved yet. <laughs> oh. So they always have to December to do this. Yeah. <laughs> right. Of course, of course. Right. All right, so where can people find you if they want to know more? Just Google me, Tom. Joe Burt, B-E-R-T, two words. And be sure you put the... Two to uh, separate the words, because if you Google Joe Burt, one right. word, a Mexican boxer comes up, and that ain't me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, no, definitely not. All right, Joe, thanks. All right, Tom, good to see you.